I'm like, I used to live in the hood in Toronto. He's like, Canada has hoods? I'm like, yeah, bro, like we have hoods. It's not as bad as American hoods, in all honesty, but we got hoods. What's up, y'all? I go by the name 1111. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, engineer, straight from Toronto, Canada. Allow me to introduce myself. Ooh, yeah. Who's up and coming? Who's got next? The meaning behind my name uh, is very simple. My mom always saying 1111 make a wish when we're in the house. Every 1111 she would scream that out. 1111 make a wish. You know what I mean? So I had to, I had to, I had to go with that name. Hood's not to go to in Toronto Park. Four. The Things of Toronto series that I'm doing, it was actually suggested by Ray Daniels in Atlanta. We're sitting in the office and he's like, we need to think of some content. Like, what are we gonna do? He's like, why don't you do a, a segment on hoods in Toronto? We going back to the West and... He's like, just do it, trust me. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it. Jamestown, AKA Doomstown. Do you wanna go to a place named Doomstown? Nah, get the fuck. I did it the next day, my first video, I did about where I was from, where I started music, which was Jungle. If you see this mall, you're in the middle of like seven different hoods. And that went viral. I guarantee you, you're gonna see some crazy shit. Atlanta's like my second home. I'm back and forth between here and Atlanta. I love Atlanta, I love the culture, specifically the South Side, that's where I stay. I feel like Toronto needs to be a little more united together. Uh, we could win as a, as a city. Everybody should be collabing, everybody should be doing everything together and not, not being too cool. You know what I mean? I've written for a couple artists. I've written for Eric Bellinger, uh, Cassie. I write songs about what I'm going through at the time. Why did you cut on me the other night? I mean, I didn't leave you. I lost my phone. With Cassie, my, my manager at the time was uh, Puff's engineer. We just went to the studio and we vibed out. We're like, let's see what you could come up with. So I was writing with her for a minute. I remember I linked up with Eric Bellinger one time just by going to the studio and like hanging out. We just ended up making two fire tracks. One of them's on my EP, uh, Wishlist. She know I'm the man. I ain't gotta worry about nothing. It's not, it's not really about pitching, it's about the organicness of like how we make a song and that's how a song becomes so good. Being a father of three and, and balancing the music between fatherhood and music, it's tough. Especially seeing people out there having family time with their kids. You gotta make sacrifices. Eight, nine months ago I was really addicted to Percocets and opioids and Nine months ago, I was like, I gotta do something, I gotta kick this. Went cold turkey on the Percocets and went through that week of, you know, horrible withdrawals. And ever since then, I haven't touched one, one of them. So, like, if anyone out there is dealing with addiction, like, you can really kick it. Even though you're being a little bit in denial, because, like, I was, you can kick that, for sure. People would be surprised to hear that I was real serious about football at one point and really wanted to play it. I really used to want to be a professional wrestler, like WWE. Like I was, I was in love with that. So I, I, when I was a kid, I really thought like, that's what I was gonna do until I found out there was more acting involved. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I wanna do this no more. But also like I could bench press like 225, like at least 25 times. Uh, I don't think people really know that about me. Another one would probably be piano. Like people really haven't seen me play piano that much. Guitar. Those are my hidden talents, yeah. Oh, I could sing. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is literally one, 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 four ones. Simplest Instagram. Go look out for my single. It's out right now. Excited. You're gonna be excited to listen to it. Get excited. This love we have is timeless. Yo, what's going on? It's 11-11 and I just introduced myself. Ooh, yeah.